Everybody make a sign for water, make a W. <laughs> now this is the one thing that you think they have enough water? Yeah. Yeah, and it's pretty clean, so that's pretty good. Okay, now we'll practice the parts of the habitat, make sure we remember. Okay, first we got space. Everybody make a sign for space. Everybody make a sign for food. Everybody make a sign for shelter. Everybody make a sign for water. Four more parts. Okay, now I'm going to quiz you. Get ready. Warm your fingers up. Okay, here we go. Let me see the saw parts. Food. Space. Shelter. Water. 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 Food. Space. Shelter. Water. Food. Space. Shelter. So aquatic ecologists are interested in different kinds of habitat. So here's a habitat here. I think if I stepped into this habitat, it would be pretty squishy. It looks pretty muddy, right? So I wonder who would like to live in the mud. Let's take a look and see. Do you see someone living there? Yeah. Yeah, we see someone living there. And this kind of animal only lives in the muddy spaces, in the sandy, muddy spaces. And this is a freshwater mussel. It looks kind of like a clam. And can you see, if you have very good eyes, ecologists, you'll see where the clam came from. Can you see the track of where it walked? Well, it didn't really walk. It didn't have legs. Where it slid along. Well, weirdly enough, it doesn't have any eyes. I told you these animals are weird. It doesn't have any eyes. It kind of knows where up and down is. So if the, if the mussel likes to live here, do you think the mussel will live here? No. No, it can't live in this habitat. It's not right. But do you think somebody might live here? Yeah. Let's see who does. Mm. This is not a fish. Don't get fooled. Wow, very good. I knew you wouldn't get fooled. This is a tadpole of the chorus rocks. And uh, some of the animals that live in these water places spend their whole life, in, like our friend the chorus frog, spends his whole life in that splash pool. Some of the animals that live in the water spend only part of their life there. So let's take a look at this animal. It's underwater right now. Hmm, this is a trick one. It's going to change a lot when it gets older until it hatches out as a dragonfly. Yeah, the dragonfly nymph lives in the water. It's part of that ecosystem. And some animals just come to visit. And they don't stay very long and they go away. But they're still important because when moose come, they eat things in the water. They kind of mess up the water with their walking. They change the way the lake looks. So they're very important too. So all animals and plants that live in the water have a special role to play. Some of them make energy from the sun. They make food from the sun. Like plants. And this is algae. And we know it makes energy from the sun because it's green. It's doing photosynthesis. And so there's algae. And then there's pondweed. Nod your head, that looks like a plant to you. And then there are some other kinds of things that you might not recognize as plants. And you might not recognize them because you've probably never seen them. Because they are very, 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 very tiny. And to find them, you would take this special net, and you can see how skinny it is so nothing can get through. And you would drag it through the water. And then you would catch these teeny tiny animals in this bucket at the back. And then you would take your bucket out, and you would look inside. If you could get it open. You would look inside. And you would see. Well, maybe you can't get it open. And you would see. Maybe this. Hmm. Can you see anything there? Yeah. Hardly, though, huh? It's so tiny, so small, you can't really see it. So we need to get out a microscope. So everybody look into their microscope. And now let's take another look. There, there we go. Yeah, so this is phytoplankton. These are tiny, tiny plants that live in all the water in Lake Superior and in all the water in the world. And phytoplankton, if you look at it, does it look like a plant to you very much? No. Yeah. It really doesn't look like a plant very much. And, and phytoplankton, phytoplankton's life is about floating. And you'll notice when you look at the plant of phytoplankton, it's very funny shapes for floating. So this is what it does. It goes like this. Floaty, float, float. And some animals eat it. And you're right. Well, it's floaty, float, float. It makes energy from the sun. Yeah, sure, just like a plant does. And it comes in a lot of very strange shapes. And it's very, very important. Because who here breathes oxygen? Raise your hand if you breathe oxygen. Yes, thank you. Put your hands down. 80% of the oxygen on Earth is made by phytoplankton. 
They're probably the most important plant to us. And so they have their own special song. And their song is about floating, and their song is about being weird shapes. So everybody please stand up at your seat. And the song goes like this. It goes, phytoplankton, 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 hey. Everybody try that? <laughs> phytoplankton, 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 hey. And that's how it goes. OK, here we go. Everybody together. Phytoplankton, 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 hey. Phytoplankton, 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 hey. Thumbs up. Everybody say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wrists together. Together. Elbows in. Elbows in. Here we go. A phytoplankton, 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 hey. A phytoplankton, 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 hey. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wrists together. Wrists together. Elbows in. Elbows in. Knees bent. Knees bent. Mom out. A fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, and hey, fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, and hey, thumbs up, thumbs up, wrists together, wrists together, elbows in, elbows in, knees bent, knees bent, bum out, bum out, turn around, a fight, 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 a f